Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks. On this week's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at a pedal which, since I posted a photo of this on Instagram a few months ago, has attracted an insane amount of interest. Pretty much weekly questions in regard to what it is, what it does, and more importantly, I guess, for any piece of musical gear, how it sounds. And that is, of course, the Supro Tremolo. Now, just to give you a very quick explanation into what this is, in its simplest guise, i.e. with the toggle switch in its up position, it's just a tremolo pedal. I say just a tremolo pedal, it's an incredibly good sounding tremolo pedal, incredibly versatile and will take you from a very kind of natural amp bias sounding trem through to that more modern, more extreme, more choppy kind of, think Audio Slave, think Green Day Boulevard of Broken Dreams, that intro sound on that track, this will nail that. So it's a very versatile tremolo pedal. But as good as it is in that mode, that's not the reason I got it. Um, to give you a very quick explanation into what harmonic tremolo is, which is in its down position on the toggle switch, between 1958 and 1963, Fender produced a series of amplifiers known as, or since known as, the brown face. The reason being, they have a brown faceplate. Um, in those amps, or in the larger of those amps, the ones that were branded as professional series, you're thinking the Super, Concert, Bandmaster, not maybe the smaller kind of Princeton ones, you had what is known as the vibrato circuit, the introduction of a vibrato circuit. Um, and for whatever reason, it's incredibly unique to those amps. The easiest way to describe it, and I don't fully understand this, check out that pedal show's explanation on harmonic trem if you want an infinitely better, more concise version of this. Basically, the signal is split in two directions and is modulated differently in each direction, which gives you an infinitely more kind of phasey um, effect, I guess. Not dissimilar from a univibe, and as much as the kind of effect may actually sound as though it's all um, being modulated in pitch, it's not. It's just a phase relationship between the two signals. Either way, whatever is happening, it gives you an incredibly unique effect. Easiest way to demonstrate the difference between this and just a normal amplitude tremolo is I'm going to play the same passage and then kind of back and forth between the two effects. So first and foremost we have the typical tremolo. <laughs> Then we're going to switch over to the harmonic tremolo. Thank you. 
hopefully you can hear the difference between those two. The harmonic tremolo is, as I said, it's a little bit univibey, a little bit phasey, a little bit chorusy. It's a kind of confluence, I guess, of various effects that you're familiar with. Either way, it just sounds absolutely gorgeous. And this pedal, as much as I've experimented with a few other pedals, the Supro undoubtedly comes out on top. It's just a gorgeous sounding harmonic tremolo pedal, which really nails the sound of that very unique, very kind of specific effect to those series of brown face amps from the late 50s, early 60s. I'm going to play you out now, just kind of, you know, noodling around, getting some different sounds out of it, and hopefully showing you what, at least to me, is an incredibly inspiring in sound so as ever thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this as ever i'll be back next week for another episode of friday for Outworks. in the meantime please do subscribe give me a thumbs up and a comment if you feel so inclined and i shall see you next week for another episode of friday for Outworks. cheers guys take care Thank you.